Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to um, um, Kisha Conversations. That's not it. Hey y'all, um, this is the first episode of Kisha Conversations where we do real talk over real food. I'm not a chef, I'm just a girl that's, you know, I don't burn nothing, but I can put a meal on a table. All right, so today, this entire week, I've been feeling kind of stuffed, you know, like overwhelmed, all these thoughts, all these ideas, don't know where to start. So I figured in order to get it out, why not stuff something else? So therefore, today we're going to do stuffed mm -mm, asparagus, stuffed chicken thighs, or whatever you want to call it. That's pretty much what I'm doing. But these are the ingredients. We got asparagus, mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, all the seasonings, whatever you want to put on there. Basmati rice or whatever rice you want to use. And then boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And, or you can do chicken breasts if that's what you got. Or you can not stuff anything and just cook chicken legs. It's whatever you want to do. I'm just trying to put a meal on the table. That's it. I guess we can get started. First off, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You know, black folks usually just turn the oven on and they always want to put 350, 400 this time. So that's already done. Then you want to make sure you got a skillet and a pot. That's it. And, you know, stuff to flip, turn, scoop, spoon, and a pan to put in the oven. That's it. That's all you need. I've already prepped that. You, if you get the fresh asparagus, you can get frozen. I don't know how that's going to work, but if that's what you got, that's what you got. But I got fresh asparagus. Um, asparagus because it was on sale if it wasn't on sale I wouldn't have got it this would be a different video so I went ahead and cut the ends off the asparagus if you ever seen asparagus it got like this end that's like not green it's white cut that off you can't eat that because it's going you might as well go outside and chew on a tree limb um, then I got mozzarella cheese you can use whatever cheese you want you can use Cobra Jack, Monterey Jack whatever you like we're going to stick with mozzarella cheese now this is actually actually a recipe, but and it called for like sun dried tomatoes. Them, those was expensive. I didn't want to pay the money for the sun dried tomatoes. It's fine. You can always switch it up when you ain't budget. Do what you got. If you got it in your pocket to do it, then you do what you got. I'm gonna use this can, and you just drain them off. Now, what I got is fire roasted, diced, flavored with garlic. That's what I like. You get what you want. Um, and then you got seasonings, pretty much whatever you want to season with. I do want to say that you, the primary seasonings is the Italian seasoning and smoked paprika. Don't ask me what the difference is between regular paprika and smoked paprika. I don't know. You don't really taste paprika until you put it in something. Just, I'm just saying that's what it calls for. So what I was saying, this week I've been like really, really stuffed. You know, this is the first episode of this because... I had a conversation, it was a very tough conversation that was had with me saying that I wasn't doing nothing. In so many words, that's what she told me. She said, you ain't doing nothing. And I was like, I mean, I felt a certain type of way. I did. I said it. I felt a certain type of way. I feel no way. But, I mean, it was something that needed to be said. I'm a straightforward person, so if you're going to give it to me, give it to me straight. No chaser. I'm okay with that. Mm -mm. And she was like, you know, you gotta, I, you know, she knows what I want to do, but I can't necessarily do what I want to do right now because I ain't got the necessary credentials for it. However, there's some stuff that I have that I can, you know, do now. She went down like a list of stuff that, she went down a list of stuff. I don't too much take compliments very well. It makes me cringe. She and she that. started saying nice stuff about me and um i was all over the place and she was like you know you can cook you cook very well and uh, you're very personable you got a great personality and then there was something else she said i don't even know i feel cringy just talking about my own self like that that's a whole nother episode anyway here we are i sat there and i was like well i'm personable i can cook why here we are with a video hey video first thing you know she's like i don't even know how to do certain things i wish i knew how to make like a like a pan of macaroni and cheese or something and i was like i mean i know how to make macaroni and cheese and and then i get some people that like when i cook they like to watch me cook and then ask well what seasoning did you put here and why did you cook it that way and 
why did you do it this way and I used to do it that way and I'm like I don't know I was raised by my grandparents I'm a country girl you pretty much just go in the kitchen and you just do how you feel I literally and it sounds funny I literally season stuff until I hear my ancestors say that's enough child and I really do so I've already done roasted garlic and herb seasoning garlic powder smoked paprika and Italian seasoning and I think I want to do something else. A little salt and a little pepper. Now, if you got high blood pressure, let me tell you something about this right here. We're not going to turn the brain around, but everybody knows what this red top is. Everybody knows exactly what bothers you. You got high blood pressure. i tell you why. It's because of this. You got to use this lightly. Some of you, you know, we've been raised on seasoning the heck out of our stuff. This right here, and now we on blood pressure medicine. But we ain't going to talk about that. That's a you know, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and turn my back over. My back eye, as they say. Not too high, just high enough. And that'll be heating up. Yeah, I started this channel. Is it a channel? Who oh, child. I guess to give myself something to do and not feel like I'm not doing nothing. Oh. So, I've taken, I counted out, I think, I counted out like three asparagus for each one. This is like six chicken thighs because I rice to just I'm meal prepping plus so I'm meal prepping for four days but it's like I have to feed the people that's helping me with this video so two of these is you know black folk um thank you god I actually I actually want to season the inside just a little bit because I sure did want some but I wasn't gonna say that <laughs> um who got your favorite yeah, I actually want to season the inside just a little bit. But yeah, asparagus, then you take a sliced mozzarella cheese. Now you can use like the mozzarella cheese that's already sliced and then just roll your insides. It's whatever works best for you. Get, get some cheese. Put cheese in the chicken. That's it. Put the cheese in the chicken. Move on. I found this seasoning in my friend's cabinet. It say veggie. I'm putting vegetables in the chicken. Veggie grill season. Apparently they make seasoning just for your vegetables. And I was like, okay, why not? So vegetable, but you ain't you don't have to. It I just saw it and that's what I wanted to do. Now you pretty much do all that and then you stuff it the best that you can. If you got twine, like come some kind of string, you can tie that. If you got toothpick, you can do that. I don't have neither one of those, so we just gonna stuff it just like this. I'm gonna do this chicken, then we'll cut to where I'm putting it in the skillet. All right, we'll be back. We are gonna turn that down. Mm -hmm. I almost cut it on camera. Mm -hmm. See, y'all gotta get some toothpicks or twine or something, because you know it'll work better for you in that manner. But you know, it, it's gonna we'll make it do what it do. What we doing, I'm just cooking, like I'm searing one side, searing, I'm going to sear the other side, and then put in the oven, and the oven is going to cook the asparagus and melt the cheese and everything on the inside. We just want to, this is to prevent the chicken from getting dry. I'm not a chef, I just, I be in the kitchen and I just cook, and, and, and sometimes it works out. For the most part, it works out. While that's going... I got a pot here with some water in it because we're gonna cook some rice for the for the side. Rice. I got boil in the bag because it's quicker and it was cheaper, but you get if you want the other kind, that's fine too. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so the water can boil for that to be ready. And then I'm going to transfer it from there into here, and then that's it. Now, honestly, I could have skipped this step because I got chicken thighs and not chicken breasts. So if you want to skip this step, you can. You just put it in the oven. Now, you just have to mop, you know, keep it in the oven just longer. But it really depends on how you like your asparagus and everything. 
But then after she, you know, ran down a list of great things about me, after I got over the cringy part, I felt empowered, a little overwhelmed, and the idea of making like YouTube videos came to mind. And I was like, I'm not trying to be YouTube famous. I don't. I feel like I needed to be scripted, and I don't really go by no script. This is who I am. And she's like, no, you just got to be you. Just be you. Turn the camera on and be you. So, y'all, I really think I should have got some toothpicks. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's nothing. So, yeah. And I was like, you know, when I cook, I like to talk. So, why not? Now, I'm going to tell y'all now. Some of my conversations don't make sense. Some of them ain't. You really just gonna be in, in in my mind, and uh, sometimes that's a dangerous place to be. I'm gonna be honest with you. In my mind is a dangerous place to be, cause my mind is everywhere for the most part. You get it, like stuff. So I said, since I feel stuff, I'm gonna stuff something else to try to get the the feeling off off of me. I hope that makes sense. If it don't. Sorry. Oh, I was supposed to put the rice in there. I told y'all ain't no shell. I just be cooking. Too bad because I got to cook for several people. Y'all, I had a spatula and I'm over here trying to maneuver with this fork. I had a spatula. I told y'all my mind be everywhere. Go with it. And then what we're going to do, because I know you see, like, all this right here, all that right there. Don't throw that away. You, gonna, you just scrape all that up right there. Because that's seasoning, tomato, all that. And then we going to pour it on over the chicken. That's all we're going to do. I'm satisfied with it. I'm going to put this in the oven. And I'm probably going to leave it in the oven maybe 20 minutes. I, I feel 20 minutes in my spirit. I think 20 minutes should be good, but I'm going to check on it at like 15. And if I need five more extra minutes, I do five extra minutes, you know? Okay, so everything's out of the oven now. It actually took like 40 minutes. I learned that in the process, but it looks good. Um, We're going to see. I'm proud of it, you know, and... I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is Kitchen Conversations where we do real talk over real food. Today we was just, you know, I felt stuffed, so I wanted to get that out. So I decided to stuff some chicken. I feel better. <laughs> I feel better. And then when I eat it, I'm probably going to get right back stuffed. I didn't think that through. But my emotions going to be good, right? Right. Okay, so hope y'all tune in next time. I holler. I got to eat. Bye.